What's up guys? So here I have a furnace, which is 13 by 20 something. Let's see, let's grab my ruler by 27. And then here I have a 16 by 25 return box, filter box. So obviously if I try to, if I put my flanges on that, what a lot of people do is they patch this and then this space right here just becomes dead air. So to avoid that, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a transition from the furnace to the box. All right guys, so you got your metal. Now you're gonna take your measurements. I'm gonna do this in four separate pieces and then put it all together to make the transition. So I'm gonna make the depth of my transition seven inches, which is really going to turn smaller when you make your half inch flange to secure it to the actual furnace. So seven. And then our first piece, I'm going to put the one inch flange to overlap the two pieces on the larger side, which is going to be 25, which with one inch on each side turns into 27. So take our measurements for that. That's going to be the first piece right here. And right off that line, you can measure your other two pieces, so I know my depth is going to be seven. And only three of these pieces, because of the transition, are going to be truly seven. The other one, which is the transition piece, is going to be a little bit longer. So after we cut all these pieces and get them where they're supposed to be, we'll be able to take an accurate measurement of the last Piece, which is also going to have the one inch flange on each side to connect to this. So this one's 27. So we know our box is 16 by 13. So we're going to measure 16 here on this side. And then you're going to measure 13 here. And like that for the other piece as well. And then 16 here. And you're able to connect these lines here. So on this horizontal unit, this will be the bottom, this will be the, this will be the back, and now we still need to measure our side. Now this right here, this line right here, is going to be your actual measurement of the depth of the next one. So that ends up being seven and three quarters. So now instead of measuring seven, I measure seven and three quarters. And that's going to be by 27. Now we're just going to cut all these out and then we'll put them together. So after you have all your pieces cut, they're gonna end up looking like this, right? So on one side, which is the 13 inch side, which is gonna sit on the furnace, you're gonna to wanna to put a half inch flange. That way you have something to secure the actual transition to the furnace. So you can put your half inch screws through there. And then on the other side, you have these two pieces. One's the seven and three quarter, and then one is the seven, which is the true depth of the transition. And then this piece, instead of being flat, you're gonna have it like that, and that's the transitioning piece. So when you notch, when you do your notches here, you have to do a half inch on the bottom, one inch on the side, which allows you to do the fold. On the opposite side, on seven, seven three quarters across from that, you're gonna want a full one inch notch. But when you do your one inch notch on this transitioning piece, you're not gonna to wanna to just make a, a square notch. You're gonna want this one to be a little angled. That way, when you put your piece like that, this, if this was squared, it would hit the other piece of the transition instead of being able to really sit with it. So this piece would hang over and it would kind of stop you and you'd be fighting that corner there. So after you have all these pieces, you could do, you know, there's multiple ways that you could do this. We're in the field, so we're just gonna use slip to connect these transitions here. Also, you could put all of these pieces on the return box first and then piece them together. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all these together so we have the actual transition and then put it on the box itself.
So now we have our slips and our pieces that don't have the one inch bolt. So now we're able to put the other pieces to it. So I'm going to start with the flat side, just seven to seven. So it stays true to that. Then you connect it like that and then you just put a screw or two to hold those two pieces together. Inside the one, on the side of the one slip, through the metal on the inside and then the other. that on all four sides with all four pieces. This piece here, which is 13 by 25, transitioning piece onto the furnace and then have the return box on the other side. So let's hook that up now. So here are our piece here. What I like to do is like start with one corner and go to the other corner. So I'm gonna put this one in here. Also notice I opened my flange a little bit on the corner. I just stuck a flathead in there, kind of like this. Okay, open it up a little bit, that way it makes it a little easier to make these uh, slip connections. So it's one corner in, then I'm going to work my way to the other side. Now that side is in. Come over here and do this side. Throw a couple of screws around the side, and that will mount it to the furnace. So now we have a furnace, now we have a transition box. So now with these half inch flanges all the way around this box, we're able to just flip it over, mount it on, so we're able to line the back up as long as we want. So two screws in the back. Goes here so my slip and slide a little bit. All right, there you have that screwed in, and now you can see here instead of this just being capped off and pushed up against the furnace. It's got a nice transition for some smooth airflow.